can I edit my um, let me go share this around real quick real quick real quick though okay. how are things in uh, New York New York well you're not in New York New York but I'm also gonna share. What? Put your mic closer. Closer. But I'm also gonna share. Also, I made it public, so. You How is that? Change. Is that better? Yeah, that's good. Okay. Oops, wrong comment, delete. Um, did you, uh, damn it, uh, I need to make sharing easier. Anyways, <sighs> what were you okay. doing right now when I messaged you this stuff? Um, Tom and I were in a tournament, a oh. Warzone tournament. Um, How'd it go? Did you get that dub? I actually don't know. Um, what do you mean you don't know? You don't know if you won. Well, we have to, uh, we didn't get any wins, but it's based off your, like, best two games, mm. I think. Uh-huh. Um, so let's see. Click here for live scoring. It was supposed to be like, we, get, we each would have got, like, 30 bucks, so... Okay. I don't even know um, what our team name is. The Pabaroonies. No way. Why not? Um, Tom set it up. I don't know what he put. Trying our best. I don't know. <laughs> Tom! Whatever. Um, I'll figure it out, though. But that's what I was doing, and... We were just at his parents' house and we ate dinner over there. Yeah. What'd you guys eat? Um, we ate pasta and eggplant. Gross. Gross, gross, gross. That eggplant is really good. <laughs> I ate. What did I eat today? Um, oh, I ate some menu though. It was like super early in the morning. Mm, I haven't had noodle in so long. That should be hitting. It's that hangover, even though I didn't go out. <coughs> <coughs> Food. I like pozole. Like oh no, you're one of them. Pasole. Yeah. Hmm. That's yeah. So, did you expect the update today on Gabby? Look, they haven't even confirmed for sure. Oh yeah. I mean, yeah, we can't we can't officially say that it's her, but. If they you, did release an official document, but there's no like news story on it, so I don't know. What you talking about? There's news you know, all like, over the, the news place. Isn't always legit, but yeah, but it's all over the place. What are you talking about? What do you mean? The the the, the cops are well, yeah, they can't say officially, but it's pretty much her. They were they've even said to leave the family alone while they grieve already. Yeah. I don't know. I just want to know what happened. Um. Like what? What were these? Like, how did they find the body? Where did they find the body? Like, none of that was actually disclosed. Uh, yeah, it's out there in Wyoming. Out there in Wyoming. But where? Like, they were looking for her, like in this missing place. But like, where did they find her? How did they find her? And like, in what condition did they find her in? Well, they literally just found her, so they can't say all that just yet. But there is a lot of stuff. Like I said, I've been following that Brian. Enten or Enten, I don't know how you say his name. He's the correspondent out there. I'm gonna switch screens right now so you guys can see the Twitter. Um, he's been camping outside their house since Tuesday. Oh, he's been out there a fucking minute. But uh, yeah, because they they went out. <coughs> somebody saw the van somewhere, 
or there, there was like a picture that's been going around where like I think somebody was just camping and they were going through so they went and looked and uh, yeah they're ready <coughs> so yeah see Gabby Petito's family attorney issued a statement asking for privacy and thanking law enforcement for their tireless work I am making a personal request to members of the press and news media to refrain from contacting the Schmidt and Petito family I don't even know why Schmidt's up in there <laughs> It's not like they're helping or they care. Due to today's developments, we are asking the press and news media to have some decorum and sensitivity for Gabby's family and allow them to grieve. I will be in contact with you when Gabby's family is ready to make a public statement. I would also like to personally thank the FBI, Suffolk, Suffolk County Police Department, the Northport Police Department, and especially the Grand Tenton search and rescue team, your tireless work and determination helped bring Gabby home to her parents. The family and I will forever, will be forever grateful. See? So, I mean, it's out. It's out, out. That's fucking crazy, dude. Where the fuck is this guy, man? Yeah, and then for him to just fucking, like, leave. Just... <laughs> Like, why wasn't there? I know, like, he was, just was a person of interest. And I guess technically he's still just a person of interest. Like, like wouldn't I you? Wouldn't like it be logical to put a tell on him? Well, he was just, like, a number one suspect. You don't know if he did anything, so they can't do anything if they have nothing to, like, well, No, he wasn't even a suspect. Like, you can't even use that terminology. He was just a, a person of interest just because he was the last person to see her. I don't think they can he say suspect until maybe now because there is now officially a crime because they have the body now yeah, they will probably change it suspect, suspect. dude that's fucking crazy i don't like the guy like literally just went home like nothing you know i mean maybe not like nothing we obviously don't know what his like mental state was at the time but like who just goes home after like killing somebody like yeah, if you're scared that just means you're stupid like that honestly it probably happened on accident remember my theory i told you yeah well, I didn't well actually tell before we go into theory we should probably just i mean because there's some people who don't like really know what's going on like who she is do you want to okay, well, do you want to break it down who she is what happened Let's go down, down the timeline, and um, I'll go down it, and then we can um, talk about our theory before we get to the end. Yeah, yeah, we can stop, and we can stop and take breaks in between or whatever. But yeah. uh, that way, people kind of get like a general idea of of what the whole story even is. Okay, so I'll just share my screen. Okay. So, as you can see, can you share my screen? Yeah, I see it. It's up. Okay. Let me zoom in. Okay, so. Man, they go way back to when they started dating. Yeah, huh? So, Gabby and her boyfriend both went on a. They got engaged, obviously, here. And, um,. They were going out on a cross-country trip. Um, there is a video out that states that Gabby Petito, um, she actually states that she was a, what was she, a nutritionist? Yeah. And she quit her job so she can go cross-country with her fiancé. <coughs> okay. Mm -hmm. um, it's kind of important because the whole time, like, they're taking pictures and stuff, and she mentions, mentions in this video, which, let's go here. You can see all these um, are just posts that mark their locations and the pictures that they took, Instagram posts. Yeah. Um, and then where is where do they go? Where do they go? So um, there's one. Here it is. So August 12th. Here it is. So there's a video out on here. This is probably it right here. I guess we can go into it in just a second. Yeah. Um, this video shows the police officers pulling them over and they're talking to them basically this guy was speeding and as they were pulling him over uh he swerved when they pulled him over they asked him what happened they were arguing she basically said that he didn't really believe in what she was doing so she obviously seemed a little 
upset about it, but she, he had scratches all over him, and when they were getting pulled over, she got upset and grabbed the wheel. Let me see. I'm going to see if um, I can pull up that video right now, too, while you're talking. Okay, and um, so what happens after that, I didn't actually watch the rest of the video David did, but he explained to me that what happened was basically they separated him for the night, they were going to charge him with domestic violence, but since they were both adamant on not charging each other, uh, they took him uh, to a hotel and they let her take the van and they separated them for the night and that was it. That was the end of the video, wasn't it? Yeah, let me, uh, I have it There's right here. There's a source right here, should I just click on uh, the source? You can't, I already have it open, that's cool. There's a fucking ad though, so. I'll just like cut through some shit, just so they can get an idea of what it's like. Okay, Hopefully you can uh, fucking hear it. So, stop sharing quick? Uh, nah, just okay. leave it up, because we're watching the video anyway, so they can't even see it, but uh. Like, I'll, I'll, here, I'll, I'll narrate this part. This is when the cops pulling him over. Um, oh, okay, you took over, cool. Yeah, I'll switch, I'll let you know when I switch back. So the cops following him right here. I think he sees them speeding. And he's just kind of following him for like a second. And then that's when the boyfriend Brian hits the curb, and that's when he, he you know, he hits the lights and uh, he finally pulls him over. And let me back up a little bit. I have to switch up on my phone, so back up a little bit right here. This is where he walks up to them. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I hit the the bump there. I was distracting him from driving. I'm sorry. Can I get you to step out of the vehicle for me, man? Yeah. Is it letting you hear all that? Or no? Cecilia? No. Oh, okay. So it must just be on my end. Anyways, so the cops, um, the cop is, uh, he walks up to him and, you know, she's crying and stuff. And he's like starting to give the excuses, which some people point out that that's, it seems very narcissistic, narcissistic of him because, uh, at one point in the video, he says, uh, he says something about her like being crazy because they're fighting, you know, he's asking each of them separately, what's going on? Why are you, you know, what's, what's, uh, what's the deal here? Like, why are you guys driving all crazy and stuff? So she's, she's talking about how she was like cleaning stuff up in the back and it irritated him and blah, blah, blah. So, uh, that goes on. He separates some more cops show up. Uh, yeah, let me show a little bit more. This is Brian. So he sits him down right there. He's going to go back to Gabby. I mean, it's basically just the gist of the video is what you said. They, they pull him over because they were fighting. Um, the cops, I hear a lot of back and forth on this because people say that the cops should have picked up, you know, that he was maybe being a little deceptive and I guess maybe kind of gaslighting, saying Gabby was crazy and the cops should have paid attention to this because ultimately what happens is the cops uh, find Gabby at fault and him as the victim based on the laws there in Utah and her grabbing him and there was some scratch marks on him. Basically her initiating it is basically what the cops came out with. Now they technically it was kind of a domestic violence case because uh, they're living out of that vehicle. So, you know, it kind of threw some tricks in there for the cops for how they wanted to handle this. But luckily, <clears throat> after some more cops show up, they're able to find like a loophole where uh, because they asked Gabby if there was an intent, like did she was she was she was she hitting him to cause harm or like was it just like a reaction out of, you know, just just like a reaction. You know what I mean? And he was very like, you know, I guess I want to say maybe sweet talking. I don't know. It's hard to say at the time. We didn't know the story on this guy too much, how he was. Um, but, uh, he was even offering like to go to jail in her place. He's like, just let her take the truck. I'll go to jail. Like, I don't want her to get in trouble. Um, you know what I mean? I mean, from the cost perspective, not knowing the future, I think anybody would have probably did the same thing. Like, Oh, here's just another couple fighting. You know what I mean? All couples fight. Everybody fights friends fights. You know what I mean? Like there's no way you can, you can really predict the future. 
I mean, in hindsight, well, in hindsight, now you can say that because, you know, everything that's happened. But yeah. at that time, I think everyone, every cop probably would have made the same decision. And just the cop, they were both expressing, you know, their love for each other and how sorry they were. Now, of course, knowing things now, I mean, you know, maybe he is very narcissistic. Maybe um, the cops should have paid more attention to that. But again, it's it's so hard. These cases like this, it's so hard to say that, you know. Um, so I think it show the end of the video. Yeah, I'm going to cut through it more. I, I just stop right now to pause to uh, to say what I'm saying on, on this right now. But um, anyways, because a lot of it is like this whole video is like an hour, 17 minutes. You can find it on YouTube or anywhere. Just just look up like the Gabby Petito uh, uh, body cam video and it'll come right up. It's worth the watch if you're following this case because you see his body demeanor, hers. You know, she's this tiny little girl, you know, and he's he's kind of I don't know hard to say but anyways they're able to i don't know if you want to say fool the police but the cops find a way that because gabby didn't intend to cause harm that uh, he basically just separated them for for the night because the other option was that he they were going to have to arrest her and because there was nowhere for her to go because basically the law there is when there's domestic violence you have to be separated for the night you know while while uh like our court hearing gets set up or whatever. So um, he and the cops end up getting him a hotel. They give Gabby the vehicle. They, you know, they don't tell each other where, like where they're going to be staying. <coughs> they tell Gabby to go, you know, just take like a shower at one of these little like rent a shower places for people who camp and stuff, you know, just go cool off. Don't text each other. None of that. And then in the morning they can reunite. So that's what they do. The cop, the video ends with uh the cops taking him, dropping him off at a hotel and, you know, Gabby's gone on her way. And that's basically the end of this video. Um, is there any part of this video that you'd want to see after hearing all that? Like anything that I talked about that you want to? Me? Yeah. Um, I, I mean, not necessarily. I think um, it would just be maybe like a good idea to kind of like uh, for the, like the viewers to see like the very end at least, so they can get like okay, that did happen, whatever. Okay. Um, yeah, because a lot of people didn't watch this shit at all. Fucking yeah, ads. One thing I end. will say, uh, in my opinion, that whole pullover looked really sketchy at first. Um, in what way? Well, she was crying, okay? I mean, you know, yeah. like, if a girl's crying in the car and a girl's crying in front of a cop, like, like they're obviously wanting you to see that something's wrong. I don't know. Um, I've gotten pulled over once, and I was fucking bawling my eyes out because I was looking for my stupid-ass ex-boyfriend who, like, I couldn't find. Like, he was supposed to send me an address, and, like, we had been out all night, and it was, like... But were you crying to get the cops' attention, or were you just crying because you were frustrated? I was crying because I was so frustrated, but, like, I don't know. I feel like, I don't know, if someone really was, like... I don't know. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm not. I don't know. I just feel like maybe that she was, like... See, I don't think she was trying to signal cops. Like, I think... It's complicated. Well, I mean, so it's complicated. complicated. At first, it seemed weird, but then it seemed like okay. Well, maybe she didn't really want to get him in trouble. Maybe she was just worried about the whole thing. And right. She actually does care about this guy, but this guy does seem like what you're saying, narcissistic. Yeah. Um, well, see, the thing with that though, if she is doing that, is she doing it out of fear because it's this relationship's been what two years and this is what she's used to always having to lie for him to cover or whatever. You know what I mean? I mean, you know how it goes, right? Like when there's these toxic relationships. Okay. That's why I was saying this is after I saw this video, my theory was that this guy just does that. He doesn't seem like it. He seems kind of. He seems uh, like like I don't want to say like not all there, but he seems like he, he's got some issues. OK, this guy uh -huh. seems like he's got some issues. The way he talks, the way he's going about things like he's got some issues. Seems like he's got he is he has trouble controlling his emotions in the sense of like him being angry over small things or things that don't really matter. Right. Uh, maybe he's like internally insecure. This is what I'm getting from this video. He's internally insecure about something and he's like taking it out on her because he doesn't like see what she sees. I don't know. This is what I get. And I feel like after watching this video, I got this idea of where they were fighting and he accidentally did something. Because like, she said that 
he locked her out of the car. You don't do that, okay? No matter who the fuck you are. Right. Like, I mean, you do that when you're a kid, you know? You do that when you're a teenager. You don't do that when you're older. You don't do that with someone you're on a cross-country trip with. You don't lock someone out of the fucking car. That's that's awful to do to somebody, you know? Like, Especially with her. her. In the beginning of the video, she mentions that she has, like, really bad anxiety. Clearly, he knows about it. Um, yeah, it doesn't sound like she takes any medication for it, as far as we know. But uh, for him to like, he, he obviously didn't take that into consideration when he locked her out of the car. Right. Like that's what like triggered to me. Like, okay, this guy seems very like he seems mentally abusive in some way. You're right. And I think he, he takes advantage of that. That's what it seems like. He seems like a type of guy who thinks he can control this person, this girl, because she's so like emotionally just kind of unstable and he knows that so the way he acts makes her feel bad on purpose and like it's like he gets off on the idea of her especially in front of these cops yeah you know he probably thinks he's got he's like this is probably making him feel like even more like weirdly in control or something or getting away with it tall and and he's like Oh, no, no, it's okay. Like, it wasn't her fault. Like, I don't want to press charges. Like, putting all the blame on her, making her look really right. bad. And it's like, okay, cool. Then I am not the one doing this. It's all her. Like, she's stupid. I'm right. She's wrong. That's, like, what I got from this video. So, I didn't know if he killed her or not. But my, like, hunch was that they got into a fight and he locked her out. Remember I told you that yeah. message did it? Um, like she got, he got into the car and he took her phone. He threw it and he left her there alone. That's that's what I assumed happened. Uh huh. Because I didn't want to believe she died. And right. I feel like he's not, he's not the type of person that kills someone on purpose. Right. Maybe on accident, but not on purpose. And you still stand by that right now? That's your, you still think it was an accident? I think he was upset and he was an idiot and he did something out of anger and he didn't realize so maybe like a crime of passion have you ever heard of those no it's basically the same thing typically no no i i think that okay so like he was just he didn't he couldn't control his anger you know like some you get really fucking mad and you just fucking go and do something you do it and you just keep doing it until you completely just you're just kind of black out and then uh-huh. after you're done you're like holy shit what the fuck did i do like that okay so i think he i think he was so shocked of what he did well we're not there yet i'll, I'll get there in a minute but i'll get there at the end because i mean we all know what happened we all know know the new news yeah but whatever happened he was in shock he went home to his parents and he was like, what the fuck what do I do? All right. Now, all right, well, let's watch. I think I'm at the end of the video where they're telling her she has to get a hotel. Let me see. I'm going to play it real quick. But I told him, and you, unless there's earth shattering emergency news, don't text tonight, okay? Even with the good nights, I love you. <coughs> He's saying good night now. He's saying he loves you now. And you guys can talk to Okay, so yeah, this is where they pulled her out of the car. And he's, he's giving her the keys and telling her, you know, don't text him. Let it all blow over for the night, basically. I'm giving him a ride over to the hotel. Okay. The rave messiah. I think that's Andrea. He was really, really nervous. Who? That's Andrea. Oh, is it really? Yeah. I'm not going to tell you where he's going to be at tonight. Like I said, I want you guys to be separated. But I can tell you this. I just don't usually drive the van, so I just want to make sure it's not, like, far. No, 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 no. It's you can see how distraught she is. I mean, she's pretty like a nervous wreck. Like she, she doesn't even drive that much. It sounds like so. You know, I don't know. Poor girl. When I when I see her, the only reason I was like really interested in this case because I have a friend who has like really bad anxiety like this. I'm not gonna say who, but like it it just reminded me like this could be one of my friends. You know what I mean? I don't know. Yeah, it's, I mean, because she's so young. She's like within our age group. And I'm just like, damn, this like literally could happen to any one of my friends because so many friends, there's so many people with a bad anxiety. And, you know what I mean? It's just all these mannerisms that they both have just seem way too familiar. Right. But I still don't know if you can really blame the cops. Like, 
No, I mean, I don't think you can blame the cops at all. Like, why, how would, how would I don't know, because I see so many people bashing the cops that they should have handled this differently. And I'm just like, how? But is this just like everyone people on the internet? Stupid. People always I mean, want to have the right answer. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I, I guess I kind of get the idea that they're coming from. But, like, the cops obviously seem she was upset. They didn't want to charge her. They... Like, she clearly scratched him. She admitted to hitting him. She admitted to pulling the drive wheel. Uh, the when steering wheel? Driving. This yeah. super dangerous. And she admitted to all of this. They have her on camera admitting to this, so they had to charge her. Right. Like, you have to. Like, as a cop, you can't just erase <clears throat> that footage. You can't do that. It's against the law. Right. So they had to charge her with, with the domestic violence because it was obvious what it was. And so that's probably like what they were like had their mind on, like not right. wanting to charge this poor girl. Yeah. And they probably did see that the guy was sounding narcissistic, like, because she came out upset and she was like, he just doesn't believe that I can do this. You're right. And honestly, if someone's, I mean, I okay, someone, it's definitely possible for someone to drive you emotionally fucking crazy if they're just not listening to what you have to say and consistently putting you down and being condescending to you, that shit drives you nuts. Yeah. I hate that. Like, it's so hard to talk to someone that way because they're consistently, like, not letting you talk. Like, yeah. All right, so we're at the video where they're, they're about to drive off to <coughs> take him to, to the hotel. There's not much more to see. It's just him and it's just him and the cop like the rest of the video is just him and the cop talking bullshitting you know the cops telling him how his wife has anxiety and how how he's dealt with this and he told them that he thinks gabby should get on medication because it worked for his wife and it just really made things better for their relationship but uh that's the end of that video so i'm going to exit it and go back to your timeline okay <coughs> okay so all right, I'm back on your timeline. So where were we? The okay. cop video. So, <laughs> who is the revolt? <laughs> Who's the what? Revolt on the Twitch. Is that Adrian? Uh, I don't know. Somebody know. What's up, revolt? Well, he said you done, done goofed. Only, uh, I He's saying Brian done goofed. He thinks... Adrian and I. Have, oh. I've only heard of Adrian and I ever saying that. So. Oh, well, maybe it's Adrian. <laughs> Um, anyways, so, August 12th, that was the video that we just watched, um, August 13th, um, Brian made a post, and he posted arches, hey, pull up, you should pull up their Instagram while I'm going through this, so maybe we can look at it. Okay. Um, made a post, um, there's a, a note below from family friend, help his father move there. Um, if his Instagram's even there, I bet you they pulled that shit down. His Instagram? Yeah, does it give the uh, name for it? No, it doesn't. No. You can mm. see a little preview there. Um, then they have a YouTube, the, your, their YouTube video was posted a few days after. Uh, so... David reminded me too that this actually happened a month I can't see it. prior to her going missing. So that's why all this. So, well, all right, let me clear this up. It's <coughs> two weeks from when they think she really went missing. So, two, two weeks from when we can officially say we last saw her leaving the hotel and from her mother verbally talking to her, knowing, hearing her voice, knowing it's her. That's two weeks from this, or from this date, which was like the 25th. Then it's another two weeks when she's officially reported missing. Okay. Got okay, it. Okay, so let's see then. I made an Instagram post, website was updated. They called FaceTime with the father, asked him to order food, blah, blah, blah. Scene checking out of this the is, hotel. That's what I was talking about right there. Scene checking out of the hotel. Okay, last FaceTime with mom said she was heading... Uh, from SLC to Grand Payton. Tent, yeah, Ted. I'm sure what direction the relationship was headed. Interesting. Uh, so, earlier, too, um, in another article, they actually, uh, her friends say that they called the engagement off a while ago. 
great. Like the right, the mom happy. confirmed that too. That they're definitely they, we're back to boyfriend girlfriend. Yeah, so they called <coughs> off the engagement and the relationship that wasn't sure, sure it was heading. Okay, so August twenty fifth. That's kind of sus, you know, like. Like, okay, so if this well clearly because I mean insane. picture the scene they just they they're going on this trip the relationship's getting worse and worse uh, they've already been almost arrested now it's two weeks later they they're over the next two weeks after the police arrest you can only imagine that they're obviously still fighting with the way this turns out so I mean, yeah, I mean she's probably it was just obvious at first they didn't have communication so yeah. I, like I was saying before too he probably got back they got back together after the hotel. And he was probably so pissed off about it, and she was probably so upset, like, and he just blamed, probably blamed her for everything, and they just keep fighting about it. That's Rev, Rev makes a good point in the, uh, in the chat. From personal experience, the best way to test the stability of a relationship is to go on a road trip with the person. I've heard that many times, like, when you're dating somebody, go on vacation with them, and you'll learn real quick the habits that they have, and, you know, because you got to be with that person all the fucking time. So, I mean, that's a really good point. Yeah, Tom and I have really good vacations, so I guess. So. Okay, moving on, though. Um, let's see. They were seen by a sto- store owner in Victor, Idaho. Van seen by other campers. Uh, text from Gabby's phone to mother saying she was heading to Yellowstone. And a Snapchat to a friend that she was heading to Yellowstone. Then the van like we were seen in Peyton was supposed to. Meet Not, but I think that Snapchat, Snapchat. It's important to note that I think that's all text. That there's no like confirmation that it's her. Her. Oh, it could okay. it could be him using yeah. the phone, pretending Snapchat. to be her, just texting friends, texting mom, dad, pretending to be her. You know what I mean? Okay. But she was supposed to meet a friend in Yellowstone. I didn't actually know that. She didn't show. And let's see. And then I text. From Gabby's phone to a friend said she was in SOC. Note this text could have been delayed due to spotty. Eight twenty nine. I think that's that. Uh, that's when those that couple picked him up, right? Oh my God! Do we have that video? I have that video on my notes somewhere. Let me I should. Yeah, up. I should be able to pull it up. That girl from the. I think it was like a TikTok, right? Yeah, a TikTok. Oh, look at this, you guys. Gabby Petito. Because he was picked up hitchhiking, so I mean, if if I was, yeah, I have it right here. Let me see if I can okay, play it real quick. It. This so this is this happened. This freaking girl claims that she picked him up. Right. And her boyfriend. They claim that she they picked him Add up. Valve- Add. Hold on. Yeah, she claims to <coughs> have picked him up, and I believe this is the area where they found the body. I gotta double check, but um, so. Th- this would put the time frame probably about when he did it, like within that day, within, you know, pretty close. Here we go. View of the whole. Let me start it over real quick. So this is a view of the whole de- um, journey with Brian. So that's the top at the park at Coulter Bay. And then we drove him to this dam right here. Then at the dam, we dropped him off at this little turno and he said he was going to walk across the street to the parking lot which was full of people to continue hitchhiking um and look for a ride because he freaked out when i said jackson hole he said we needed to pull over even though jackson and jackson hole are the same thing it's the same town itself this is the text i sent to my mom at 609 right when he got out of the car saying i was okay because she was freaking out this is at the park or at the pickup location and um we were taking a shower we then walked across and our car was parked on the left side of the picture and he talked to us like right in the middle (coughs) um he was talking to my boyfriend the entire time but like i was the one actually talking and he was like not frantic and he was very nice very polite to us gabby was found in wyoming and this happened in florida i wait was it let me check up let me check this out let me verify uh 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 Oh no, this was uh Yeah, this also was in Wyoming. So this yeah, so this is what I thought that he was in the area when he looked for this ride because I think that's where the van was, which makes me th- I think what happened right here is within the day or two, this is probably when uh when uh whatever he did to her went down and I think he was considering ditching the van. And that's why he was hitchhiking, trying to get out of there. Maybe he was just panicking. I got to go. 
and that's why he left and then eventually came back with the van. You know what I mean? I'm telling you. There's a video, you. but there's a video. Have you seen the video of um I'll try to find that too where there's like a there's just some campers going through they're going through um that area and they actually they got the video the 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 van parked on the side and you can see a little flip-flop on the floor like like just on the floor next to uh the oh back God. of the truck. Dude, find that video. I'm gonna find it right now. But uh, Dude. I mean, you can't say it's hers, but I mean, maybe it's hers. I don't know. So I, I think... mean, honestly, I'm telling you, this guy doesn't seem like like I said, he doesn't seem like a guy that would want to like that not would want to, but that had the capability to kill someone, like purposely kill someone. I think he did it on accident. I think they were fighting. He did something. Maybe he was just fucking tired of your shit, and I mean, like, honestly, like, you're an idiot. I don't know, dude. This is all fucked up, okay? But maybe she was tired of it. He was tired of it, and he just, like, couldn't do it, you know? He was just, like, in his emotions. He didn't know how to control his fucking anger. Something happened, and it sounds like when this girl picked him up, it sounds like... Yeah, you're right. I think he was trying to ditch the van, and then he freaked out and was like, No, I can't ditch the van. I gotta go back. Let me go back. And so he had probably walked back to the van. And he probably wanted to make it seem like he was hitchhiking somewhere. So it didn't seem like he was with the van. You know what I mean? Right. So here's the video. I have it up right now. 147? Let me see if this is it. So they're driving through. Driving through. It's going to be on the left-hand side, I believe. Yeah, here it is. Make it bigger. See it right there? And pause it. Make it big right real there. quick. Uh, the stupid thing. Let me close this. Right here. So behind the stupid more videos. Make it full thing. screen, I mean. It is full screen. The video in the box over there. What are you talking about? It is full screen. Anyways, you can't see it right here, but there's a fucking shoe. Every time I pause it, the stupid more videos thing starts up. There you go. Oh, there it is. You can see it right there. That little thing. Some people think that that's like a flip-flop. I don't know. It kind of looks like a rock. Go back. Now, now that I'm looking at it this big. Let's see. Oh, okay. That's funny. Um, the, it was slow reaction. That's why I didn't see full screen. <coughs> back it up a little bit. Saturday evening, but we just kind of had a brain fart. Oh, my God. There's that room. So if you hear anybody can help. Yeah. So they didn't, this couple who found this, they didn't realize it until the news and everything. But uh, that's definitely the video. I mean, that's definitely the fucking van. So. What were they saying in the video? Were they saying it was weird that it was there? No, that's just there was just a couple who was. I think they were just filming shit. They were as they were camping and stuff, and uh, they didn't make the connection until they saw all the news. Like, oh hey, we saw a white van, and it turns out that that's <laughs> that's the fucking van. So, wow, that's crazy. So I'm back to your uh, timeline. I'm back to your timeline thing. Okay. Okay, um, so that happened, uh, you said- Yeah, that's true, her body could have fucking been in the van. It's fucking nuts. Well, who said that? What's scary Rev. is that her body is probably in the van in the video. Whew, don't that's why I'm wondering if that's, like, the shoe, like, maybe it fell off while he was, like, moving things, and, Oh, my you know, God, it's so, like, crazy. You know what I mean? Isn't that crazy that you, that these people just drove right by and- that's fucking like eerie. I don't fucking yeah, know. It's I don't awful. know how I feel about last, that. Last text to the mother, no service in Yosemite. Who said that? So they never planned to visit Yosemite. Okay. Spotify playlist added. Weird. Okay. Oh, I heard okay. about that. I, I don't know. I don't know what I if you can make anything out of the Spotify playlist. Like there was just songs in there that had like weird titles. I think people are just reaching with that. It's nothing really okay. like crazy. Okay. That sounds like a reach. I mean, I mean, he probably was just like listening to these songs and just posted it just to make it seem yeah, like. Yeah, Rev makes another good point. Rev, you've been following this case pretty good. Yeah, that text that he sent, I think that's how they narrowed down the search area because it probably pinged off of like a tower or some bullshit and they knew that area. So, yeah, he's definitely yeah. fucking himself over. Who is this Re Revelette? Who are you? Who are you? Yeah, who are you? What's up, man? Pick your or name. Girl. Or girl. But, uh, whatever. Um, yeah, but, he'll, he'll so see it. Nine one. He's just a random nine. person. Nice to meet you, pal. Who is it? He's just oh, a random, okay, person. random person. Okay. Brian returns to Florida. Okay. So, another Spotify playlist added. Weird. Brian returns to Florida. 
Uh, gave it to his mother, texted Bill's mother, I'm worried about the kids, have you heard from them? No response. Shady. The girl's father was involved in a public service incident at the laundry home. There was. A I think that's, yeah, that's probably when they were first getting like, what the fuck's going on? So of course they go over there. Like, who the fuck's not going to go confront them? So is she from Florida <coughs> as well? Yeah. Well, I think, okay. I think they're originally from New York, aren't they? But they live in Florida. Well, if they left from New York... Maybe they were living there. I don't know. Um, well, okay. 9-11 police returned twice to follow up investigation. Van taken into custody. Oh, shit. Right. BL requested lawyer. DP labeled as a missing person. Um, yeah, you, so do you see how much longer after she was she was reported missing from that, that what was it, August 25th uh, oh, hotel yeah. footage or whatever whatever they had? That's yeah. that's where I was saying the month long thing from the okay. the uh, well, police incident. Subpoena officer drops off paper at laundry house. Got to do subpoena TikTok laundry were released a statement. Vehicle processed by police. Laundry listed on the person of interest. He because he left. He took off. Um, his lawyer reported to him uh, missing in action. Um, then goes missing after going on a hiking cart. I think still officially he's still a person still, of interest. Yeah, he is. They have not found him yet. But um, I mean, the parents said the last they saw him was fucking Tuesday. And yeah. that's when they went to go search that area. Oh, that he went hiking. We haven't seen him. I don't know. Fuck, fuck those parents. What the fuck are they doing? Like, Today. Today's, uh, <coughs> Today's the 19th. The 14th was Tuesday. That's when the that's when they last saw him. Interesting. Okay. They probably saw the I mean they, this is when they delivered that thing, that subpoena, so Well, that was the 14th. That was like, uh, all right, I gotta Yeah, so you, that. yeah, you think they dropped off the subpoena and then that freaked him out and he's like I got to go. Probably. Do you think he told like them it. though? Like do you think like, Brian told them that he, he killed like I don't I wouldn't think so. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know, because these parents seem really ride or die for him, so. I think <coughs> parents, I think he went home and he's like, I don't know what to do. Like, I did something really bad and I can't, I can't, I can't. Maybe like that. he just alluded what to it. You, Brian? Yeah. Brian, what did you do? And they're like, Gabby and I were fighting. That's I what know. I said. I said he's in Mexico hands. already. And they're like, Brian, oh my God, Brian, what are you saying right now? Please, Brian, don't don't tell me you're this way, please. I don't, I don't know, but that makes them sound like like they have, might would have compassion for what went down. They're completely well, no, like they not did. And They're not probably like, okay, oh my God, like you came here. Why would you come here? Why would you come here? What are we going to do? Like, we can't help you son i'm sorry we love you but we can't help you like you gotta leave you gotta get out of here right now you gotta go pack your things find something somewhere to go just leave we won't say anything to anybody but you gotta get the fuck out of here <laughs> yeah i, I think, don't uh... i think that's what happened i think they were like i'm not fucking doing this mm, i don't know where that chapel is stupid all right switch it back to uh, camera let's see what else we can pull up or is there more cam, well no there's more shit they really updated yeah. this Body cam footage was uh, released. That's when everybody saw it. Um, enter Brian Laundry's home. Okay, and if that evidence bag was seen entering. That was that day. I. That's when I started posting from another Brian who <coughs> is a news reporter out there. Brian um, Enton. That's when I started posting that. That was the first day I started watching when he was camping outside the house. The cops went in there, and that's when they officially knew that he was missing so they took evidence bags in they took some stuff out they went into the mustang got something off the mustang i believe oh, wow. they've said that they don't have either of their phones um yeah that was just like a day or two ago it was, yeah that was friday um, wow okay well search for bill began and then uh, they have access to both of their phone data and, and another thing to bring up right there 917 the parents um Ask the police to come over. To BL's they, home? Yeah. Wow. So he's he's gone Tuesday. Then Friday they ask him to come home. Dude, I'm telling you that's probably what happened. He's probably like, Oh, you you gotta leave. 
we won't tell them you're here, but you gotta leave. And like, but that like, sounds like they're what? that sounds like they're buying him time. Like, they should be in trouble for that. No, I mean, look, they they probably probably uh, maybe potentially, but I also think they could have like called the cops there and been like, look, we don't know what he did. He said something happened. They got into a fight, and then he came here. We told them whatever he did, he had to handle it on his own. So we let we we let threw him out. I, we don't know where he is, but he's gone. That's totally what the. Fuck By the I way, was. on Friday when the cops went in and got all that evidence, they said that the uh, their attorney was on the phone the whole time and told them to only talk about Brian. Don't say anything about Gabby. Really? Yeah. That's weird. That's so weird, right? That they're. I mean. Probably because they're privy to. They don't want to say the wrong thing. They don't want to, you know what I mean? Right. But that's just so awkward to for a cop to hear them. He probably, they're probably like, okay, he came here. He was crazy. We told him whatever happened, he has to handle it on his own, and we told him to leave. Probably what happened. <clears throat> okay. And then come today. This is what happened today, guys. Gabby's body found in a remote area of Grand Teton National Park. Grand Teton. Um, yeah, that's in Wyoming. Over here in Wyoming. Right? This is Wyoming? No, Wyoming's up. Oh, right here. Right there. Yep. By four and five, yeah. Mm, so that's where her fucking body is found. Yeah. So, I mean... Some, uh, notes here. <sighs> Oh, this YouTube text. This is all like old stuff. Yeah, he really could have. If if he would have played his cards right, he could have just disappeared, or he could have just denied yeah. anything. He could have been. He could have been like, yeah, we got in a fight. I let her go on. If if he would have just drove the the van back, and when he was out there, pretended like to search for her, and said something like, yeah, we got in a fight again. We both went our separate ways. I went to look for her. I couldn't find her, so I just drove back. You know. And then and then called the cops like right when he got there or even called the cops out there and just pretended to like not know where she was. He could have really like got away with this shit. But, uh, you know, thankfully not. Thankfully, he made some text messages and who knows what the fuck else he did. And I don't know, man. Ugh. What else you got here? What is all this stuff? This is all just notes. And then that's a lot of fucking notes. But anyways, yeah. yeah so today, <coughs> it's basically her. They say unofficially, unofficially, officially, however you want. Poor girl. I don't know. I yeah. a part of me halfway through, I was like, this better not be some fucking publicity stunt, and uh, right. where she's trying to get attention for fucking, you know, her thing, her her blog that she was trying to start or whatever. I was much rather it have been that way because at least she would have been alive. But at the same time, it would have been so fucked but up. But at the same time, I would have been fucking pissed. Yeah, there's definitely going to be a movie on this. I can see your screen, so uh, watch out. You might want to turn share screen off. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to go, I was trying to put <coughs> the report that they released. Yeah. So, um, I don't know. Part of me thought she was going to turn up somehow. I don't know why. I don't know. I listen to a lot of true crime as it is. But uh, I even had my friend. I have a friend who works downtown at the courts. She actually reviews like body cam stuff for all kinds of cases and shit. So I was asking her questions about it because I was watching that body cam when they got pulled over and why certain parts were muted. And <sighs> is yeah, what document we'll available? Which one are you talking about? Um, let me just. Pull oh, the one we were looking for. Um, let me see where I can find it. Somebody posted it on my Facebook. Uh, let me see if I can share it here. Let me see if I can get it on. Uh, um, let me see if I can post it in the uh, in the what you call it chat here. All right, one second. Anyways, keep talking, Cecilia. I don't know. I just think it's crazy. I don't know, like the drive is thirty five hours. So between the time that she actually went missing, I mean, I don't know. It's just crazy. That's a straight drive. Like I said, I don't think he did it on purpose. I don't think he had the capability to do it on purpose. He just doesn't seem like the type of guy. I don't know. We don't really know him that well. I mean, he seems he definitely seems like someone who doesn't know how to control his emotions, got out of the hand, and fucking did something really stupid. I'm in the middle somewhere. If he's really, like, 
<coughs> crazy and narcissistic and lies. I mean, who knows? I mean, the parents and them, they all seemed very happy for their engagement and stuff, so maybe a lot wasn't known. But, uh. Someone's I don't saying know. in the chat the location of the van totally adds up with the story of the TikToker that gave him a ride. Are you talking about where they, where that other couple saw the, uh, the van um, on the side of the road? Yeah. And because if that's the case, then. That would be pretty wild. Um, that would definitely make sense, and that would definitely put two and two together. Two plus two equals four. Drop mic. There's the link. Hopefully it works for you for that Google document. Oh, reach character limit. Fuck. Oh, no, I can't. You have to send it in the Facebook chat. Let me see if I can get around this. Actually, I can probably look for it. Okay, cool. If it works, we Gucci. Um, but yeah, that's somebody. I don't know who made that Google document or that timeline. Some friend shared it to me on Facebook a couple days ago. She's also been following it. Britt Burv, shout out to her because she's been all over this sending me stuff. And yeah. <coughs> yeah, but um, I don't know, man. It's fucking crazy out here. I'm not sure my screen now. I'm just, what I you just sharing? It up on profile. What is it? The oh, the uh, official release. Update on Gabriel Petito. They get in the investigation. Blah, 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 blah. Oops, sorry. National Park Services. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, well, That's their statement today, right? Oh, they know it's her, supposedly, but they, it what well, matches the can, the description, but they don't know the cause of death. Yeah, I don't think they're gonna say uh, right away. I bet you he like strangled her. If it's something like what you said, he probably did some shit like that. Cause when I was watching that police video. I didn't, I couldn't make out, like usually, you know, cops are like, hey, you got any weapons in the vehicle? You know, they kind of just ask, yeah. you know what I mean? I didn't hear anything about that. I'm assuming. Where did they pull him over at? I'm assuming, let me see if I can switch to fucking satellite mode. Was it, was it in Wyoming that they pulled him over? That was. Like on, like you gotta take into consideration like where they pulled him over at because like what right. if these people like Aren't Here, go set me uh, coordinates. I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch over. Have to... you ever seen the show? Um... Here's the coordinates I pulled up. Here, I will stop sharing. It's on. I have. I already switched it. Okay. There's a show called. Let's see how close we can get into called. this. It's on Netflix, way. and basically one of the parts of the show is it's about this detective. It's based in the '70s, and he's really smart. And he just try. They try to catch killers, basically, and he runs a program where they can identify uh, these serial killers before they start like serial killing. And in one of the episodes, few episodes, one of the storylines that they have, um, they go to this uh, town to do these classes to teach the cops there on how to recognize and how to talk to people who are like going crazy. Right. And what happens is they end up like interviewing this guy for this crime and where was I going with this? <laughs> Man, these Google images are fucking good. So on the I don't know if you have it open, but I have the uh the exact location where the van was of a satellite image. This spot's oh, fucking this is not to be like shitty, but this is like a lame spot to hide a body. Look how fucking open it is. Like, I mean, I don't the know. Fuck? Maybe. Okay, like, I the remember where I was thinking? going. So <laughs> they're doing, they're doing a, they're questioning these people because there was a murder there of this woman, and basically, this cop, this local sheriff, was telling him like, because something really gruesome happened there, and they're like, oh, that couldn't have happened. Things like that don't happen in this small town. So if you're going around asking these questions, people are gonna be like, well, what are you talking about? People don't do that around here. You know, it's not really a thing. 
So maybe when the cop pulled them over, they're like, okay, well, that's not really a thing out here. So they don't really ask about weapons because no one really has weapons. You know what I mean? Right. It's not something that, like, they usually deal with. <coughs> I guess it is fucking Mormon Utah, too. So I don't know. Don't the Mormons have guns? I hear that Mormons in Mexico have a lot of fucking guns. Boys, I don't know. Mexico. That is a weird spot. You got to do a 3D version. You can't. That's like kind I of can't. like. I don't know how to fucking do it. Like... I mean, it's pretty clear to me. I mean, we just watched the video earlier. He buried her just to the, the northeast of where it, the map the says Spread there. Creek. Uh, hmm. I don't know. This is just such a lame spot. But I mean, I guess if he buried her, I didn't hear that part. I didn't hear about him burying her. And I don't know if remains means like multiple pieces or what. But uh, I just think that maybe they mean her as a whole her remains you know because it's been what it's, i don't even think decomp has really even started depending on when she died because it's so soon i don't know but there are fucking animals out there and shit so <coughs> hopefully some weird fucking animal didn't fuck her up and you know tear her in different pieces or whatever but look at this spot it's so fucking open like this is gonna well, be like world's dumbest sure. fucking criminal but it looks like it looks like well, the, I'm telling you, he doesn't look like a guy that would kill someone on purpose. He probably did it on accident. But after you do it, don't you like, like okay. look? If I killed somebody, I'm never gonna do it for the record. But I'm not gonna do some dumb shit like this. Like I'm gonna find like a good fucking spot. Like this is dumb. I don't know. Cause it looks like a wash too. Cause even if you bury her, if the water comes through here, it's gonna fucking make that body pop up. She's gonna go downstream somewhere where people can see her. I don't know. Like I said, <laughs> I watch, I listen to a lot of fucking true crime. So like, this is just stupid to me. <laughs> he probably. Yeah, I drive a fucking fighting. state over. Like, I would turn all my electronics off so nothing is pinging me. I would fucking, I don't know. I would just. I mean, it sounds like they know how to live off the grid. Like, I don't, I don't understand. But again, maybe he was panicking, fucking up, didn't know what to do, and he just panicked and did what the fuck he did. I don't know, I would just, <laughs> yeah, just don't make sense to me, but I mean, hope, hopefully he's still fucking up, and hopefully they know where he's at, and they're gonna go arrest him, and just do their fucking thing, you know? I don't they know. could have been fighting, and he probably pushed her, and she probably hit her head on a rock and died. I've heard people say that, like, he pushed her off a cliff, <coughs> or something like, like that. I don't know he pushed her off a cliff, but he definitely did something where it was his fault that she, like, fell and, like, hit her head, and, like... I think he personally died. just... Clearly, this relationship has been going downhill. I think he just lost it eventually and just killed her, like choked her, or maybe if he had a knife, maybe stabbed her or something like that. Um, I don't. I'm like I said, I was just trying to listen to that video for if he had had a, um, like a gun or something, but that would have been too loud. I mean, maybe not out there. Maybe where people hunt, you can get away with it. But uh, I'm I'm leaning towards like he strangled her or something quiet while they were fighting. You know what I mean? I'm not leaning towards like. He pushed her and she hit her head and she's dead. Like, nah, I think he put his hands on her in some way. Either, yeah, I think he either choked her and choked her out or <coughs> pushed her and she hit her head on something and he fucking freaked out about it. He didn't know what to do and that's why he tried to hitch a ride to make it look like he was leaving it or maybe he was contemplating on leaving it and then went back. And then he went and took the van to his parents and then freaked out and then was like, dude, I don't know what to do. I left her body there. What do I do? Switch the uh, share thing off. <coughs> <coughs> Unless you're going to read this whole fucking thing. What? Switch back to the camera. Oh, okay. My bad. I don't know how to take it off. You just unshare. The button's gone. What do you mean the button's gone? How did you share in the first place? You don't even know how to use your own computer. It would be on the Zoom thing, not on, not on your computer. I don't think. Oh, I know it's, it's usually like up here. Oh, there it is. Yeah, there you go. Look at that beautiful face. Anyways. Ah, <coughs> <laughs> uh, I knew you were gonna say that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, man. I don't know. I guess now the search is on for him. He went. He went hiking. He he had not a care in the world to go fucking hiking. Supposedly, and I'm sure that's just his cover story for him to fucking get out of here and lead the cops down a different path. He's probably not even over there. Um, 
I don't know. Do you think maybe there's a chance he got out of the country? No. No? Not yet. I saw something today that somebody thought he was spotted in Florida somewhere, but it's, it's just some other dude, some other random bald guy. Poor bald guys. I'm not fucking. Do man, like, I don't know. He's, he's fucking fucked. For you now, like I wonder if he's actually been on social media yet. Yeah, just look for a bald barefoot guy because he's fucking well, barefoot everywhere. Well, he actually shouldn't go on social media because that shit tracks their location. Yeah, he just needs a boat. He could have went to Cuba. Fuck. Oh, you need a big boat to go like somewhere. Far. Nah, you get a little fast boat. You just rent. He lives on the run. He's just like, give me some money, mom. I'm fucking out of here. I'm gonna go live with the fucking Colombian drug lords. Is this still a thing? I don't even know. Fucking just kill your freaking girlfriend that you're about to marry and you fucking book it. Like. I just wanna hear something from him. I wanna hear him speak. I wanna I wanna read his body language. I need something. I can't stand not like just just gone. I actually I follow a um I follow this guy on ins on YouTube and he reads body people language. Like he he reads people's body language. <laughs> yeah. And he, like, does, like, viral videos. He'll watch the viral videos, and he'll tell you what he thinks they're, like, what's going on with them. It's really cool. I haven't watched yeah. any of his videos, but it's cool. It's interesting. Yeah, the timeline on when he's back, there's no telling when he could have really actually left. Like, he could have left before Tuesday or some shit. They just, the parents just said that they didn't see him since Tuesday, but we can't trust what the parents say. So nah, his parents <laughs> knew something. it's like, like they really orchestrated out. OK, we're going to say that we last saw him Tuesday. He was going for a walk that buys him another three days before we're going to say that he's missing. And the lawyers maybe was like, this is your chance to either leave the country, do whatever you're going to do. And this is going to be our story. Mexico. That mm, I don't know. Dude, you think he's going to get caught? Oh my God. What's the verdict? I, th- I don't know. You think they're going to find him? Gonna this find is so, him? this is, I don't know. Is, I'm going to say no because because of how much time he has and how organized the parents and this lawyer seem. I really think they knew what they were doing by buying him some time. So I want to say he's gone. I mean, not to say that they can't catch him in another state, but I think it's going to be real slim chance of getting FBI. him now. It's, he's under FBI investigation. Yeah, but he's look how many fucking people are out there that we're looking for that we can't get. Who else is on the FBI watch list? I don't know. Go look it up. But uh, I'm just saying, you know, and this, even though this case is really popular, it's just another dude that killed another girl. So, I mean, I don't think it's going to be like fucking priority case, you know, for them to go find this dude. You know what I mean? I hate to say it that way, but it's just eventually it's this case is going to fade into just another missing persons pile where they're looking for another killer. Something like that. Mm-hmm. Let me see if I can. No, Ghost, I said that earlier. He's still technically a person of interest. I think that's going to change very soon now that they have a body and he was the last person to see her, obviously. I think they'll update that and he will officially be, you know, a suspect. suspect. Yeah. So all these fucking dumb laws that we got to... Wanted by the FBI. Here we go. Yeah, Kruger, I'm thinking that too. If he's if he's already fucked up this much, that's the only thing I can rely on for us to get him is for him to be still stupid and not covering his tracks as well as he thinks he is. And he's gonna fuck up somewhere along the way, like his he's gonna fucking try to go to an airport or something, or I don't know, or across like a busy border, and someone's gonna be like, "Hey, Balone, come here, barefoot guy." Dude, this is kind of spooky looking at this list. I'm not going to lie. What is it? What are you looking at? What list? There's the wanted by the FBI list. FBI most so, wanted? I mean, I could show that if you want. If you want, yeah. I don't know. It's kind of freaky. I mean, it kind of freaks me out. I really want to know what these people look like. Wanted Damn. People. Changes appearance. Look at this guy. Who? What are we looking for? Who the fuck is that? Trooper Johnny Bowman? Oh, seeking information. Like kidnapping and missing person. Wiggs, yeah, he's bald. Slight nose job. 
Maybe fucking cut his face so he has like a big scar. I don't fucking know. There's like a lot of things you could do. Get some tattoos. Go get like a sleeve done real quick. A real shitty prison sleeve. I think these are spies. Look at how crazy, huh? Counterintelligence. Damn. Is that what that means? This is the most wanted list? Yeah. Why is this fucking kid right here? What is? What did Carmelo Duncan do? Where? Up at the top left. The little baby. No, it's that seeking information. <laughs> oh, I thought you were I looking at most wanted. Like wanted by the FBI. Fugitives wanted by the FBI for a variety, 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 variety of violent and non-violent crimes. Terrorism, suspects, kidnapping, missing persons, and cases about which FBI is seeking more. Let me go to Twitter and see if the correspondent that I've been following has said anything. <coughs> Whoops, let's see. Hey, let me Twitter that. Oh, she was kidnapped. All right, I'm on Brian's page. I'm going to switch over. Okay. This is Brian Enton. I've been following him. He's in Florida. He's been basically camping out at the Schmidt's house, Brian's house. He's been there since, I think, like, he was, I think he was there, I want to say Tuesday? I don't fucking know. He's been there for a while. Let me see if. Uh... Okay, so we're still um, outside the house right now. Really, um, I wanted to go live. He's from the United States, States by impairing. So he's saying that he's still outside the house, chilling. Um, an update like an hour ago. Basically, still just what? really quiet out here. Um, what? Let me flip this around. Yeah, go for it. Thanks. They're just all at his fucking house, like, <laughs> posted up. <laughs> yeah, follow his yeah, shit. He's been, like, posting all the good, juicy stuff. This is where I've been getting a lot of my info from. Is he at the laundry house? Tonight. Yeah, he's, um, he's, uh, he's been there camping yeah, out. Yeah, sorry. Got he's at, so he's at Brian's house. Uh, oh, yeah, that's the house right there. He's, like, they, on their property uh, and shit, which I don't know how you can do that. Gabby Petito's but. body um, this afternoon uh, at the, in the National Park in Wyoming. Um, and we're just we're now out there for to see if yeah, a lot of people. There was like a hundred people there, like the other day, like house. fucking screaming, um, saying, "Where's Gabby?" <laughs> the fucking wild. There's like little kids too. I was like, "Boy, get your ass to school." Like a fucking movie sort of right play now. out, but um, but it sounds show. from what we've heard from police that they just talked to the parents about their missing son and would not give any. That the parents wouldn't give any information about Gabby. Yep, the parents are fucked too. Because everyone yep. hates them because they seem yeah, like they're not really cooperating. Like, so they're going to have to move. They're going to have to do waiting on a warrant to go in. Uh, we don't Dude, know. you know. Don't know if they're waiting on a warrant to go the in. Really gone. Okay, the internet is full there of fucking thing, like, like people who are just ready to so fucking do something. Line, so I don't want to cross over. Once they find out where they Damn, 5,000 people listening right on the North Point uh, police scanner? Damn. I remember so I listened to the police scanner when the uh, Vegas shooting went down. That shit was crazy. I, I listened to it when it was happening. Was I remember. Yeah, me like, too. I didn't really know what was going on. I was listening to them like go that. up the floors, like check each each room. Yeah, and then the supposed bomb in that car. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. I was laying in my bed, and I was just kind of like high. It was the middle of the night, and I was like, "Oh shit!" <clears throat> this is front of the house. So. Basically, what's happened in the last hour that is the police have insane. cleared out all of the media from the front of the house. So he said they cleared um, out all the media from the front of the house, yet he's right here. Caution tape, which I'm not going <coughs> to show you in the distance. You see that police car in the distance? So they've put police line across the road. Do you think that, um, and they're not allowing anyone that one guy killing him. everybody could have been a spy? Um, what are you talking about? No, there were, we would. I went to a website, uh, Andrew, but um, I'm talking about the guys with the biggest shooting. Oh man, that shit's that's some real good conspiracy stuff right there. I mean, he could have been like a spy. If you look at this fucking list right now, these people look weird. Okay, like, like they really have <laughs> fucking. That guy spies looks like he's from there. fucking Russia or something. Dude, this, this guy right now is wanted for um, impairing, obstructing, and defeating the lawful functions of the Federal Election Commission. So Listen to this. Um, defraud the United States. Listen to this. New statement from 
laundry. How do you say it? Laundry? Is it laundry? Yeah. Like, or laundry? Laundry? Yeah. It's laundry, huh? Anyways, family attorney. The news about Gabby Petito is heartbreaking. The laundry family prays for Gabby and her family. <laughs> Bitch, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know, man. <sighs> but yeah, that's Brian Enton. Follow him if you want the juicy deets. At least at the house. He's good for it. Okay, I'm back to your most wanted page or whatever you're looking at. Oh, that guy is definitely a fucking spy. That's fucking crazy. Oh, you're looking at my screen? Yeah, I'm back <laughs> looking at your shit. That dude's definitely a spy. Look at his fucking name. Right? Look at him. He's definitely a fucking spy. Who's this guy? Look at it. Kidnapping. <clears throat> One million reward. For kidnapping? Details is being sought regarding it to Robert Lawson, a retired FBI agent who went missing oh, during a business trip to Kish Island, Iran. Oh, wow, and that's crazy. This man went missing. This girl's got to be the spy. Look at it. We caught that spy not too long ago. I'm from Arizona, by the way, pal. Holy Arizona. Um, I am from Arizona, but um, I live <laughs> in upstate New York. Um. Yeah, I, like I do this. Um. So like, sometimes I'm playing games on here, a lot. But most of the time, I do like this little podcast show on here where we just get on here and bullshit, talk about whatever. It's just I've been following this case, me and Cecilia here, so we wanted to get on. An update on what's going on. Maybe we'll do another one once there's more information out. But yeah, yeah I just like to, I like to talk a lot, so I like to get a fuck on here. Look but you'll catch me playing Apex sometimes when the servers are He's fucking. He's wanted. Open. Oh. This kid, my bad. <laughs> I can't even see like the like, information in that one. Cyber's most wanted. This is a. Chinese, China, Chinese spy? I don't fucking know. Any of you guys watch like true crime podcasts or anything? I listen to a lot of uh, like my favorite murder, morbid. Um, and that's why we drink only because it's true crime and they have like some paranormal shit. That one's pretty fun. Uh, there's just so many. That shit's interesting. Gets me depressed though from time to time when I overload. <coughs> I don't know who any of these fucking people are. I'll be gone in the dark. <coughs> I don't think I've ever even heard of that one. I'm gonna check that one out tomorrow. Thanks. Oh, Sword and Scale. Really good. I mean, this guy looks like a regular guy right here. Maybe not. I mean, so did Brian. Until one day, he wasn't. <laughs> oh, the yeah. fucking, the Golden State Killer. That's who it was. <laughs> he was a CEO. That was a fucking crazy story. Catching the Golden State Killer after all these fucking years. Like, damn. Coinage. What? What does that mean? It's coinage. I don't know. What else? We, I, was, I was checking if there's any more updates, wow. but there's nothing, nothing as of right now. This girl is the actual spy. Look at her. You're still obsessed with finding a spy. These are the spies. Look at them. That's why I'll never use 23andMe. I've actually been thinking about using that shit too. Why 23andMe? What is that? Is it the? That's how they caught the Golden State Killer. Cause somebody like his relative like used the fucking thing oh and, and they got his DNA yeah. that's hilarious <laughs> his nephew yeah fuck that <laughs> but also I don't know I hope I never do something stupid like this this is just no, I'm not trying to throw my life away fuck all that I'd rather just listen to my podcast let everyone else fuck up for me and I just go on my merry way <laughs> um I got nothing. So she's, this girl's been missing. Or they've been looking for this chick since. Lori say body discovered in Wyoming. Please, Gabriella Petito. Blah, blah, blah. 
I mean, then this guy might not be easily found if, like, these people have been... <coughs> I mean, these guys are, like, fucking... <laughs> definitely, Rev. I definitely pay attention to uh, what I hear on there, what not to do. Um, one of the podcasts the other day was saying that somebody should actually start a class for, like, uh, I guess, not for people who want to go to school and, like, you know, make a career out of, like, forensics, but, like, a class for people to go and get, like, tips on, like, how, not to fucking kill people, obviously, and how to hide bodies, but just, like, you know, forensic knowledge and, like, how things work, how fucking bodies like decompose, you know, how you can spot things out, how to read body language, oh, which I guess in that? turn somebody could, somebody could like you could use that information for obviously, you know, something bad, but they were, they were, they were talking about, they should make like a class for that. Like, like a fucking, I don't know, true crime camp or some bullshit where you go for the weekend and just like learn how, how, how everything's done, you know? <laughs> yeah, I, I'd honestly, I'd go. That shit would be fun just to, like, you know, get down with some shit and learn how. Like, learn about those body farms, like how they have all the, the bodies, like, laying around and they have them in different states of decomposition and they study and, you know, see how this one, why this one decomposes this way and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, Cecilio. They have body farms? Yeah, you want to switch back to the camera so I can switch back to my beautiful face? I'm freaking trying again and it's not letting me. Um, yeah, they have, they have body farms. We used to have one here in Scottsdale a long time ago, I believe, but they have they call them body farms where they just they put bodies out, and you know uh, researchers and stuff watch how how the body decomposes and stuff. So I'm gonna take your sharing privileges away because you don't know what the fuck you're doing. It doesn't. You see me going to the top here. It should yeah. pull down, right? It's not pulling down. Like you wouldn't be able to see it, but I can see everything on your screen right now. Can you make? I can it see all up? those Pornhub tabs. What the fuck is Wait. X? What is X hamster? What um? Can you stop my sharing? <laughs> like for me? Burning maybe? Uh, honestly, I wouldn't say. Well, burning. You'd have to have like some super high temps, but there would still be powder unless like. There you go. Unless you could, um, let's look it up. Maybe we can see what's, damn, should I even, I don't even know if I want that in my fucking browser what history. I was, that's what I was going to say, ghost. I was going to say acid. Um, uh, they're asked like, what's the best way to get rid, get rid of a body? <coughs> I would say something like acid. I would think. You got to chop it up. You got to pour cement on each body part and you throw them in the ocean. Them you, oh, got, yeah, you have to cut them into little, I don't know. You gotta grind them up. Into little fucking. You gotta grind them up and then you Quarter gotta inches, them pour them in like a. And you gotta feed them to everybody. Maybe feed them to pies. pigs. I've heard of people being fed to pigs. My buddy, my buddy used to tell me he, he yeah. knew somebody in the cartel who would, um, they had like really big like catfish or something and they would cut up the person like, like their arms, like in smaller chunks and feed them to catfish. And then put the woods in a wood chipper. The same Fargo fan. Tigers, yeah, maybe. Put them in a wood chipper and then. I'm going to go with acid, my final answer, because there's like fumes left and like that's just, just going to go away. Carol Baskin. Fucking Carol Baskin did this. Has anybody looked to see where fucking Carol Baskin has been this whole fucking time? No, where's she been? Probably fucking helping Brian. Fucking Carol Baskin. God damn it. Didn't think about her. Jesus Christ. Fuck. Good catch, Snap. Oh. I don't know, man. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to go with acid. I'm going to make sure. What, what was that shit that they had in fucking Breaking Bad? Didn't he do that with the bathtub and then that shit like fell through? It's like hydrochloric acid or something. I don't know. You ever seen Breaking Bad? Great show. He does that and then like the fucking bathtub falls through the floor. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. There's some ways. The ocean's pretty fucking big. Um. So you gotta drive out to the ocean with the person. Yeah, but not if. If you gotta think about logistics. You can't just say, "Oh, this is a good." <coughs> We're in Arizona. The ocean's like fucking six hours away. The ocean is six hours from us, Cecilia. It's not that hard to get to the ocean. 
Okay, you're gonna take the dead body with you to this ocean. I'm gonna have to do what the fuck I gotta do. Yeah, what what do you want? What else? What are my other options? I I can't fucking mail it to the ocean. Like, yes, I gotta take the body with me, in a fucking trash bag or like one of those that plastic bins. Risks. It does you if you're fucking here. Brian, but I am fucking David, so. You gonna pull over? So I'm gonna go for you. You might get pulled over. I am David, who listens to about nine hours of true crime every day. <laughs> For the past couple of years. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I anything's mean, better than out in the open and buried. Definitely his way was not it. Obviously. When you first sent me this story, I thought you were you were trying to say that is this a missing 411 case? Because by the way, if any of you guys are into this stuff, you guys should look into the missing 411. It's a little bit more... They're, they're missing people cases, but they're very weird fucking cases, like borderline paranormal um, stuff. When Cecilia here sent me this, like, the other week, I thought that's what she was implying. Like, oh, because it's a missing person, and it was at a national park, because a lot of missing 411 cases, they happen at national parks. But uh, I was like, no, because clearly this dude looks suspicious. Like, this looks like he killed her. But missing 411 is really good shit. I really want to do, like, a show on that podcast in the future i just got to find somebody who's really like knowledgeable on those cases besides me because i don't want to be the only one talking but man those there are some weird fucking cases oh yeah cecilia is going to be here pretty soon coming from new york Uh but um we should all get together and uh cast anyways i'm gonna be there next friday yeah that means fucking gold rush is coming too for oh by the way I sort of... Are you still going by yourself? Most likely. I mean, I well, because my other friend... My other friend was like... I, I don't like know her that well. Like, I know her. She's cool people. Like, she's good people. She was like, oh, I'm going by myself. Can anyone adopt me? And I, you know, I kind of was like, oh, my friend Cecilia's going, like, by herself. Mm-hmm. Maybe you guys can go. Because I think you guys would get along. You guys both are, like, super stoners and, like, lovely. She's super chill. I don't know. I just threw that out there. And then somebody else um, commented on it. And was like Cecilia Flores, some dude. I forgot his name. I think I want to say it was like Rocco or Rocky or some shit. And he was like, "Damn, I gotta keep a lookout for her too. My other fam's gonna be there." So, I don't know. I potentially found you a fam, anyways. So maybe we can all you link up. Me in it? No, I didn't tag you because I didn't, you didn't know her. Hmm. Ooh, who else is looking for me? I'm gonna be so excited. Dude, I'll I'm tell so you later when we get off of this. Um. Dude, every time I go to festivals, like. Especially when I'm alone, I'm literally at like 10 How long does a body decompose? Andrea, look that up. I don't want that in my browser thing either. <laughs> what? How long do you think it takes? All right, let's fucking play a game. Let's put some guesses out there. How long do you think it takes to uh, for a body to decompose? I guess it depends on a lot of things. Where it's at. Stuff like that. I mean, I could probably look up how long. What were you guys going to look up? How long it takes for a body to burn? Well, that's going to depend. It's going to depend on a a bunch of shit. Sorry. How long does... Oh, are you looking up the decompose? Yeah. How long does a body... Okay. One month. At least one month for sure. Rev is three months. Ghost is one month. Um, Let's see. This is what the top thing says. 24 to 72 hours after the death... The internal organs decompose. Three to five days after death, the body starts to bloat and blood containing foam leaks from the mouth and nose. Gross. Eight to ten days after death, the body turns from green to red Ooh. as the blood decomposes and the organs in the abdomen accumulate gas. Have you guys ever heard of the bodies that blow up because they have, like, fucking gas? It's crazy. Ew, what? Yeah, because you get all swollen and, like, you can explode. Several weeks after death, nails and teeth fall out. One month after death, the body starts to liquefy. What? Pour me a fucking glass. Huh. It takes about I... um, two days for it to dissolve in 45-gallon oil drum. Well, British murder John What's George... the answer for which one? I had yeah. like multiple depending on what you're doing. <laughs> mm. All right, 
let's go back to this. Let's see. Um, two days for a sulfuric acid. Really? Forty-five gallons. Yeah, two days. Sulfuric acid. Use sulfur. Sulfuric acid to dissolve at least six of his victims in the nineteen forties. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking nuts, dude. Decomposition of a skeleton 20 years? Holy shit. I feel like that's not that long. Damn, so in your freaking in your freaking coffin, you literally explode? You can explode if the gases can't I don't like, even want to think about if that. If the gases cancer. can't find a way out, they're going to pop a hole somewhere and basically your body's going to fart. <laughs> and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not pretty. I mean, skeletons clearly last for like a long fucking time because we have old ass skeletons from like hundreds of years ago, right? Like, yeah, I think so. Or like the the people the other day that are that are fucking the dead bodies that are on Mount Everest. There's like over 200 bodies still. They're like perfectly preserved, like green boots. Let me pull him up. Let me see if I can pull the bodies up on on Mount Everest. Oh man, not safe for work. Here's green boots right here. <coughs> yeah, this is very morbid. Wow, they just fucking bad. leave them wow. there. <laughs> These guys are like perfectly preserved though, because it's so cold. So I found this video right now, and these this girl is like dissolving this meat. Oh really? Yeah. Share that shit. Let me see. In this acid bath. What? <laughs> like you want to share like it? some fucking ground beef or something? or? I don't know. It looks like some kind of meat. Could you cook with acid? Like, let it... Like, if you wanted your steak raw, like, you just got to cook the outside a little bit. No, I don't think it would work. You just got to cook the inside a little bit. Wow, look at that. It's very dangerous to move the bodies, so they can't. They have to leave them up there. That's why. Where? The bodies on Mount Everest. They use them. It kind of sounds shitty, but they use them as mile markers for where they're at going up the mountain. So they just kind of leave why them they there. Why they remove them? They can't remove them because it's dangerous. Because it's Mount Everest. Because they're so high up. And... This is bad. Yeah, so they're basically stuck there. Has anyone ever made it to the top? Cecilia, so many people have made it to the top. What are you talking about? Is it like more of a thing to make it to the top these days? Yeah, because I'm pretty sure because uh, um, technology and stuff, it's better. How many people have made it? <laughs> to the top of Mount Everest. Let's see. How many people do you think have made it to the top of Mount Everest? Huh? Sally, uh, <coughs> she's not. <coughs> why global warming? Four thousand successful climbers. Does that answer your question? I can't see your video, by the way. That's nuts. Are you gonna share your video or what? Oh. What the fuck are you doing? You're just sitting there. We're all fucking waiting. <laughs> Pork ribs? What the fuck? I don't know. How the fuck can she just get some? Or can anybody just buy that shit or what? She's a scientist or something. Oh, okay. That makes sense. <coughs> so two days. Okay. 30 minutes. 30 minutes? You just said two days. Well, she did this. This has only been 30 minutes in her video. 
Wild. I gotta check and see. It's been it's been three minutes. I gotta check for a Gabby update. <laughs> Poor girl. Can't believe that happened, man. Rest in peace. Let's see, New York Times, blah blah blah. I don't know, that's pretty much it. Um You wanna end it here then? And we'll do another update later or if some if once the hunt for Brian begins. Right. Um yeah. Because there's not cool. much. I mean, that's pretty much it. Everyone really knows the case. I just had some people who said they wanted to hear about this. Weren't following it as close as us, but they found the body. It's unofficially officially her. Yeah. You know, rest in peace to Gabby. Um you know. Much rather it had been like a publicity stunt and she was just hiding, waiting, you know, to make her thing get some attention, her blog or whatever. But now we have to fucking find Brian. Let me um what's the what's the info in case you see him? Where do we call? Do you have that, Cecilia? The info on who to contact if you see this dumb fuck right here. See this fucking bald fucker? If you see him, you call. In fact, don't even call. Go fucking tackle him and hold him down and then have somebody call. Just kidding. Don't do that because I don't know if he has a gun or something. But, uh, <laughs> uh, uh. Bro, they never have the fucking information you want when you. see. I don't know. Just cut and call the cops if you see that fool. Yeah. Um, there we go. Tip line for Gabby Petito. Uh, let's see. Oh, no uh, here yet. Four days ago. Just fucking call the police. Call the FBI. You guys know what the fuck to do. Yeah, there's there's really no phone number yet. I don't think... I don't think it was just the basic call. FBI shit, but... Uh, yeah, yeah well, it only happened today. Yeah. <laughs> so. Oh, here it is. The FBI today. has set up a national hotline to receive tips. One eight hundred. Oh. Call FBI. <laughs> yeah, one eight hundred. Call FBI. Yeah. That's but to. uh. I mean, who knows? Do you think there's a chance Brian's in Arizona? We must fucking find him. <laughs> Go on a uh, bounty mission. I know he's probably just fucking fishing down the street from where the body's at, like just camping. Right, just hanging out. Just, yeah has a wig on i mean he has some hair maybe he's fucking letting it grow i would i don't fucking know but uh i'll probably do another update you know i'll share it thanks for hanging out rev ghost kruger whoever else was in here i'll see you guys next time um, um i don't know when we'll do an update up, though um... i guess it depends on what comes out but if you see me streaming other days i do other fucking podcasts on random shit i really fucking love conspiracies and aliens and all kinds of crazy shit so you'll see us on here talking about some nonsense yeah um, um Jenna, we wanted in. to raise awareness too really quick of some other missing persons oh that's right so I'll share my screen really quick just so you can see i had a really good fucking thread on twitter oh there you uh, go yeah it was exactly so stuff like that this is actually uh my cousin um, this is his dad. He took him when he was like three years old and we haven't seen him since. So we think he's in South. Um, uh, we don't actually know where he's at, but, <laughs> but, um, if you know anything, let us know. Um, Missing since 2007. Damn. So the dad just disappeared too? Just took off? Yeah. Huh? Dad took him and took off. Um, we don't really know where he's at. We believe he could be in like Central or South America. Um, we don't know. Um, but so there's that person who's been missing forever. But there's also all of these people that are missing and been kidnapped or missing. So I know people get a little upset. Like, why is Gabby getting all the attention? Blah 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 blah. It's just because it was weird the way he turned up. You know. It was also recent. You know, like. Yeah. Here, let me switch to mine because I got a bunch too. I shared this the other day. You guys can follow me. I don't give a shit. Um, just other missing people. 
out there. You know, I wish they all could fucking get attention. There's so many fucking missing people. That's a good conspiracy to get into. All the fucking missing people. I have some conspiracies yeah. on that. We should do that a different day. Um, but, you know, that's just the way it works, you know? You know? Yeah, everyone wants to make it a social justice thing. It's just this one's popular. Look, I, now that the body's found, I bet you you're going to see a sharp decline in people even paying attention to this because it's just going to be all about Brian and where he's at and how good the cops are, you know, really yep. looking and stuff. So, you know, there's going to be another case in two weeks and that's going to be the hot case to look at. Another crazy murder, another crazy whatever. It's just the way it is. But, uh, yeah. But, uh, all right. I'll catch you kids next time. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. Um, Great. Rev, I will be the first one to look for you, okay, if you go missing. So just... Let's not even let's not even let's not talk about that, okay, baby girl. Let's just not We got you. <laughs> you know who Revel it is, don't you? All right. Later guys.